to control than the wind. The mind has long forgotten. The body remembers. It brings a, a calmness to the mind and to the body. As big as you breathe is as big as you live. If we are able to control our breath, we're able to control our mind. Without your breath, you're dead meat in 10 minutes. Got it? You don't construct your future, you discover your future in a, in a life that's filled with livingness. Let this life become an exploration. Yoga is not about learning how to stand on your head, it's about learning how to stand on your own two feet. Yoga is not for everybody. This is a mind-body experience. It's just using everything, your bone marrow, your spirit, everything in your life. It's not for people who are interested in staying the same. What you feel becomes a manifestation of your, of your physical being. It's this ability to dance with life and not get knocked off your center. This is what frees us from our suffering right here and right now. There are all different paths to get to a healthy state, which is the state of oneness. This is self-realization. There's only love. That's, that's the enlightenment. That's the realization. I am not my car. I'm not my self-image. The words narrow it down to something much less than what it really is. I'm not what you think of me or even how I think of me. The essence of who you are is unconditional love. Nature never rushes. Life never rushes. It's only humans that are caught in this constant rushing and stress. I am that present awareness. And that wave of rush and stress is preventing us from being where we really want to be, which is just here and now. It's a very powerful place to be, and yet it's a very gentle place to be. It's the kind of power that can be used to serve rather than to be misused. It's who you are innately. The key is to be here now. Unless you're in the present moment, you can feel joy. I can be really, really free. And it has kind of a ripple effect. That's your only job. But if we could know one thing well, we would know everything.